This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and Season 7, Episode 1, The Walking Dead uh, premiere. Um, so, if you haven't seen the premiere, um, I highly recommend that, one, you get the fuck off this video and stop watching it. Because why would you watch a video that has a commentary preceded by a goddamn spoiler um, video? Um, I don't understand why you would do that. Anyway, uh, two... AMC is allowing people to see the premiere for free, which I think is pretty cool. I guess they're trying to get people like hooked on it, so once people start getting used to it, maybe they'll um, slip in a pay service or something, a la HBO. I've always said I wish certain channels would do something like that, because I a la carte TV would be fine for me. I only watch but a handful of networks anyway, so it would work much better and much cheaper than having cable to me, but I digress, I digress, we're talking about the premiere episode of The Walking Dead, so we finally got to see who um, Negan took out, um, but it took a while to get there because they had to do a whole big build up where um, you get to the point where he's already done something and he's talking to Rick and Rick basically is like, I'm gonna kill you and that pissed Negan off, so Negan takes Rick on a little trip to kind of teach him a lesson. Yeah. Uh, all in the in the midst of that, we get flashbacks, callbacks to the moment where Negan finally decides to go after somebody. Now, again, this is heavily full of spoilers, so I, I'm dropping the bomb now. Get, get the fuck away if you don't want to hear it. If you leave a comment on my video talking about how could you spoil stuff like that just know that you're stupid and that if you think that's a wise troll no it's just you being stupider than people who are stupid enough to sit and watch a goddamn video about a video review about a show that they like but don't want to know any details about just, no and again, if I wasn't going to put spoilers in here, I would have not put the disclaimer. Just two and two together, people. Anyway, so first up was um, pretty much the deaths were obvious to me. Um, one was house uh, cleaning, so to speak. And the other was, yeah, it's what Negan did in the comic book. So the first was um, Abraham. You saw Abraham get hit. And shout out to Abraham because he went out like a G. But after he got, after like, you know, Negan came at him, he was like, yo, suck my nuts. Uh, and so he pissed Negan off. He took that shit like a champ. Um, it was brutal as fuck, though. I, I really wasn't expecting him to show that much. But, yeah, they went all out with the whole um, beating thing. Um, now, the reason why I say one was house cleaning, that being Abraham, was, if you recall, back in season six, when um, Daryl and uh, what's her name, Rosita, and I forget the name of the other girl, but the girl who took the arrow in the eye, that was supposed to be Abraham in a different scenario. It was like a whole situation where he's having a conversation with someone near Alexandria, and one of Negan's people hit him in the back of the head through the eye with an arrow, taking him out, so... That's the house cleaning one. The one that was pretty much what Negan did to intro himself to the world in the comic books and which made you knew made you know that this guy was not to be fucked with was Glenn. Um and kudos to the production crew for actually getting the shot. Um if you recall when he got hit the first time and he's looking up and he's trying to speak and you see his eye come out, which was gross. I didn't think they'd be able to do it, but that is exactly how he looked in um, the comic book. 
give or take like some like um, skull caving in <laughs> but yeah uh, that, that was a pretty cool moment um, cool and like I said it's a comic book callback not cool is that everybody likes Glenn and when it happened in the comic book it was like whoa what the fuck is this because you weren't we really weren't expecting it so it caught you off guard now for the TV show I can see it catching some people off guard and I can see it pissing the people off like seriously because all through season six we went through the drama with Glenn where they did the teasing is he dead or anything like that had people upset angry I myself was like they're not gonna kill him on this he's gonna live he crawled under the thing um at the same time I was wondering if they were gonna get to this point and have Negan taken out take him out me personally I feel like once you did that first tease on the death it was it's kind of lame to go back and take him out anyway um you could have just left it at Abraham and moved on or you could have just probably did what was probably would have been the better thing was let Glenn go out that way um it would have hurt but it would have it it would have been less annoying I guess I should say at least from my perspective I don't know how you guys feel but I thought that it was like yeah you just saved this dude he just went through all this and reestablishing um, you know, him back in the fold after keeping people guessing, and now you just take him out like that, this off the cuff, because his he wasn't necessary to go down. Negan made his point, but they um they had Daryl come up hit Negan, and then Negan you know, he said, oh well, you know I told you, and bam, you know what I mean. Um, so hey, it is what it is. Uh, Negan did uh, a good job of fucking with Rick, uh, by the way. Uh, and I think the actor playing Negan is doing a really good job of bringing that character to life on screen. Because he does make you be like, yo, I can't stand this son of a bitch. <laughs> that's, that's Negan. Negan is a very unbearable, unlikable, um, creepy, crazy, uh, fearful character. Um the man's it's like the man has no fucking conscious anything like he's just the way the world is has turned him into a fucking psychopath a serious psychopath not just your normal psychopath that you see on the show but this is a psychopath who is how can I put it he's determined to make his point as clear as possible without any regrets without any you know <laughs> any remorse or anything like it's like he's fucking with Rick telling Rick you better get the axe and kill me now and then Rick comes out he pulls a gun at him and he's just like smiling and shit like that he throws the axe out <laughs> um, <laughs> on the roof and is like go get my shit you know he's just like he he just he's gotten to the point now where this is just I don't know it, I would love to and I don't know if they did it in the comic books because I stopped right near the end of the war with Negan and his folks um or at least at the um, climax I should say not at the end I know I wasn't at the end in fact but at the midpoint of it I stopped reading and I need to pick it back up to see how that went um down but it was just like this guy thrived in this environment this was the world being the fucked up way it was was heaven for him because he was that fucked up he was he's just as fucked up as the world is and this is like his that's his shit and I would love to see like how he got to where he got and you know because if you really pay attention to him, you can kind of see Stu's always been fucked up. Uh, whereas the governor, he he was fucked up, but even before they gave some insight, 
there was a sense that he might not have been as fucked up um because he you know his the link with his daughter and stuff like that it just seems like okay you saw that as that's probably the reason why he's as fucked up as he is you don't have you, you you're not getting that with negan at least not yet um we'll see if they will give you that so as far as you know this dude's just fucking um megalomaniac who's got people bent to his will um it'll be very very interesting to see how they play out negan but um yeah it was pretty pretty damn interesting seeing him play the mind games with rick he made the call to something that happened in the comic book that is yet to happen maybe it will maybe he was giving us a foreshadowing of that moment happening too because we got a foreshadow kind of of the Glenn thing and Negan's coming. Um, you guys may not remember, but season, I believe it's five when he picked up the bat in the community that, um, Tyrese eventually died in. Uh, but yeah, we, at least we finally starting to get to see Negan in his full glory. And now we're going to see how they're going to progress with that, where they're going to go. I mean, you've got seen the preview. So, you know it's going to go in some interesting places. I just want to see how close to the comic it's going to be and how crazy things are going to get in this ride because, whoa, shit can get crazy. Uh, believe me. Um, but anyway, as always, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll holler at you later. This is your boy, Black Makers, and I'm out. This is...